according to Venezuela's Attorney General Office, government officials were running parallel oil operations with the assistance of the National Crypto Department. Venezuela's energy supplier has shut down crypto mining facilities throughout the country as part of a reorganization of the National Crypto Department and ongoing corruption investigations involving the country's oil company. According to local media reports, crypto mining companies, and tweets from Venezuela's National Association of Cryptocurrencies, mining facilities were shut down in the past days in the states of Lara, Carabobo, and Bolivar. It is unclear how many crypto firms were affected. Some crypto exchanges were also ordered to cease operations. Hashtag Ultimahora SECONFRMA que fue solicitado el apagado de las granas de minería digital en el estado Bolívar. Consideremos esta un medida arbitraria, KVA en contra de los INT irises de la industria privada. The closure of crypto mining facilities is believed to be part of an ongoing investigation of corruption involving Venezuela's oil company PDVSA and the country's crypto department. Comunicado relacionado a los recientes cortes de servicio eléctrico experimentados en todas las infraestructuras de hash rate del pace announcement related to the recent power cuts in all Venezuelan hash rate infrastructures. PIC.twitter.com slash v4 irlul 0 or Venezuela's Attorney General Tarek William Saab disclosed on March 25 that government officials were allegedly running parallel oil operations with the assistance of the National Crypto Department. Saab noted on Twitter, this network used a conglomerate of commercial companies to legitimize the capital obtained from sales through the acquisition of crypto assets, personal and real estate. According to Saab, at least 10 people have been arrested in connection with the investigations, including Joslet Ramirez Camacho who led the crypto department since its inception in 2018 overseeing crypto tax rules and the country's cryptocurrency Petro. According to earlier reports, Camacho was arrested on March 17 during the course of the investigation. Tarek William Saab El Primer Caso K. Caramas Exponer S. E. Refira Una Nueva Trima de Corruption en Pavsa, La Número 31, K. Incluye esta vez a la Superintendencia Nacional de Cryptoactivos, Sunacrip, since June 2020, Camacho has been listed in the United States Most Wanted list. At the time, the Homeland Security Investigations issued a bounty for up to $5 million for any information that would lead to the capture of Petro's supervisor. Authorities alleged that Ramirez had deep political, social, and economic ties to suspected narcotic kingpins, including Tarek El Isami, the former vice president of Venezuela. Venezuela's president Nicolas Maduro announced the reorganization of the National Superintendency of Crypto Assets in a decree issued on March 17. Maduro's administration claimed the decision was intended to protect the country's citizens from the negative effects of economic sanctions, among other reasons. Magazine, Best and Worst Countries for Crypto Taxes plus Crypto Tax Tips